Hello and welcome to Softech Forum. Today we are going to see how to import and export data into our database table. Two ways we can import and export data into our table. First way is through SQL Server Management Studio and second way is through SSDT SQL Server Data Tool. Today we are going to see how to import and export data through SQL Server Management Studio. Let me create a Excel file which I am going to import into our database table. I will take uh, employee table, employee ID, employee name and address, let's say phone number. insert some values or else uh, yeah set some values and I'll put some name I'll insert some Just let us exclude this so we are good with this uh, file now this file I'll give some sheet details which will be required while I'm pulling the data now let us save this file Set, saved in my desktop my file is already there I'll load. now come to the database and uh, any database you select and try to right left right right click on this database and there will be one we'll call task and come to import data welcome to this is this is on SQL server imported and exported wizard through SSMS I am doing SQL Server Management Studio click on next come select choose a data source as I what source is Excel so I will choose an Excel I will browse the file this is my file so I will just select it first row as a column name Make sure when you are loading the data, your file is not open anywhere. I will just uh, create one table for the same. I will give int name, I will give worker 20 should be enough address as address can be descriptive here I am given bit less but it can be descriptive so it's always prefer you keep somewhat big value for address field now let me create this table okay it says it is already there so I'll just drop the table. Let me create an example. I've created this table. Now let me see the table. There should not be any data for that. There is no data, it is blank. Now I am going to load this. Employee details stamp table is there. So let me click on next. I have chosen the destination also. Click on next. Here I have given the sheet name as employee details. So I will be selecting this among these all the sheets. And there you select as the table details. Here we go. 
sorry I have created this table while opening before opening this so just trying to go back or click on cancel then I'll come again because it needs to refresh so just import to this to this I should be able to see this data table. Oops. Oh, sorry. My table name is wrong. See. Sorry for that. Let me drop this table. Let's not keep all this chunk table into database. Good with this. Let me see if I can get this table into there. Here you cannot query it, so that is the problem. So you need to find with the drop down. Just I went back and came back again. Yeah, I am able to see this table. Now go to edit mapping here. My mapping. See here two conditions. If you want to append this data, whatever the existing data you have, you can select on this. And if you want to truncate this data before loading it, you can click on this. As of now, as I don't have anything, so I'll click on append data and destination is id id and name so all are we are good with this we we'll just click on next 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 finish i had four records in my table for five records so just i'll see what is the data i have now yeah i have five records in my excel as well as i got the same data into my database table see so now what will I do I'll just uh, this is the portion is import the same file I'll try to export it into another Excel or a flight file let me do what again I'll go to the task and export it click on next here as the SQL Server is the source, so you need to select a SQL Server source and a uh, flat file, whatever you will select. You can select an Excel source, you can select a flat file also. I'll take an Excel source here or flat file. Let me show you the flat file. Browser, I'll select this. As of now, I don't have the flat file created over there. So column name first row that's fine. Here and just give the table name. see how it works yeah now I got these five files let me see how yeah I got this and see I'm able to see this again we can use the same for export so that's out like uh, in, <clears throat> in that import export you can do it through SQL server table to SQL server table SQL server table to various source and destinations so that's what it is. In next video, we'll see how to load the data through SSDT or B bits. Thanks for watching this video. See you in next video. Thank you.